that's a really interesting question, Sharon. Um, we have to be kind of careful how, how we approach modern practices and comparing and contrasting them with ancient practices. And the reason that I'm saying this is because when you go back and, and you look into uh, that chapter in Leviticus that that mentions uh, marking your body, tattooing your body. When you look at all the pra the other practices around it that are mentioned as no-goes, just don't do it, just stay away, um, they are all involving uh, cultic issues, um, divination, sorcery, and things of the like. So when we go back into ancient culture, the reasoning for tattoos were, um, were cultic. So for example, in Egypt, priestesses, uh, they, they find mummies of uh, Egyptian priestesses that and, and they look beautiful aesthetically, but all the way up their arms and all the way uh, down their arms, they have um, incantations and they have symbols of their gods and goddesses on their arms. So it was a way of marking those priestesses as belonging to a certain god. They were dedicated to a certain god. Another reason for getting tattoos, uh, and I kind of mentioned it a little bit, were uh, would be um, incantations to ward off evil spirits. So, uh, but the people of of Israel, who the Levitical law was written for, the Mosaic law was given specifically to the Hebrews, they were to depend on God for their protection. Uh, they were protected because they were in a covenant relationship with God. It was not necessary for them to have magical spells and amulets and tattoos. Um, uh, and obviously they should not have marks on themselves that, that say, you know, belonging to Baal on themselves, essentially. Uh, they, they should not have that because they don't belong to Baal. They were in a covenant relationship with God. Uh, so yeah, when you look at all of those other practices surrounding uh, the, the mention of tattoos, e even the cutting, those were all pagan, um, rituals that had to do with belonging to or supplicating a pagan god uh, or a demon. So what else do you think? Well, yeah, no, I think that's very good. And I think uh, in today's culture, it's not necessarily that they're wanting to worship demons or ascribing themselves to something. In this day and age, it's just, you know, people people like it, you know, right. and it's not, it doesn't mean anything to them really, right. you know. And so I think it all depends on your heart. Yeah, that that's totally true. And I mean, we learn in 1 Samuel 22 when um, when Samuel is going to anoint the next king of Israel, right? There, There's that classic um moment where God says, don't look at the outward appearance. I do not judge the way man judges. Right. Man judges on the outside, but God sees the heart of the individual. And we see that theme played over and over and over again into the New Testament. Now, That's another true. thing that you, you had mentioned earlier, Ryan, was what about the people who have tattoos? Some of them may even be, yeah. uh, you know, demonically inspired tattoos that they got before they were saved. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, that happens, but it doesn't mean that they're not saved now. Right. That was in their past. And like you said, God doesn't look at the outward appearance. He looks at the heart. So I, I really think, you know, if your heart is right with God, um, then, you know, you pray to him and you ask him, you know, if you're considering a tattoo, you know, I would just pray about it and say, is this something, God, that you're okay with me doing? Yeah, definitely. You know, and then, you know, trust the work of the Lord in you. Yeah, God God judges uh, the inward appearance of the heart. And, and, you know, he is more powerful than a mark on your skin. If you have one from your past, he is much more pow powerful than that. So thanks for your question. Thank you. Oh, I was waiting for me. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You the clapper, okay. so now you count. Everyone's looking at me. Okay. <laughs> I'm used to being counted. All right. I know. <clears throat> Freestyle. It's okay. Freestyle, Ryan. All right. <laughs> Ready in five, four, three, 